y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Will and Kate, it looks like it is open season. No one fell for that stupid photo op. I don't care what it came from. It came from Kensington Palace, co-signed by TMZ and The Sun. Tabloid, tabloids, and according to the Associated Press, um, North Korea. So we're not defending them. I would like to say I take offense at Kensington Palace being called North Korea like credibility on behalf of North Korea because baby Kim Jong Un was sitting there saying what oh, you really think we would be that sloppy come on now show them what you got y'all let's get into this the wolves are out it seems like that last little fake slideshow about a fake Kate walking around was the last straw for everybody involved and it looks like it blew up in their face did they really think we were that stupid did they really think that they were getting out of all their lies and shenanigans by issuing another potato lens video from 1991 let's get into this because you can't make this up many people have said this right okay if kate did not legitimately have a serious abdominal surgery. Baby, if this actually really was to hide the fact that she got a BBL on her face, oof, this is going to be ugly for the palace. However, let us not forget, Nina on Twitter said, this is such, before we get into what the Daily Mail said, because baby, they are roasting them, dragging them, and I love to see it. This is such an unbelievable F up, like a huge F up from William and Kate. They tricked everyone. They tricked everyone into thinking. Now, this is if you believe that Kate's not really ill and you believe that was actually uh, a real video. Raise your hands if you think that was true. Anyway, right? Um, they tricked everyone and told everyone that Kate is very, very seriously ill. She probably was at a point, again, you lied to me once, I don't believe you ever did, and then used that to get away from duties. And maybe Kate's mental health is in tatters too. Mm -hmm. They have lost so much control of the narrative. There's so much trust lost toward the royals and the British press. Who believes them? Nobody, right? Um, this is even worse than the goodwill of the people towards Kate. This is even worse because the goodwill of the people towards Kate and her health issues has disappeared. As for William Parker Bowles, what a huge fumbler. Listen, Will, if one thing for certain, two things for sure, William's going to fumble something in, um, uh, uh, it's going to fumble something. Now, let me just say this also, right? I don't believe that that even if that was Kate, I don't believe they're going to cop to that because it does leave too many questions where even their own are dragging them. Hold on. Let me pull this up. Now, this is Liz Jones. She is one of the preemptive writers in the Daily Mail. She is firmly on the royalist thing. And this is what she has to say. You guys, this is falling apart. It is open season on William and Kate. We are informed that William and Catherine were spotted at Windsor Farm Shop on Saturday and the next day went to watch their children play sport. Yet, right? She said, I was on the phone with three girlfriends yesterday when we heard the rumor that the big announcement was impending. So again, this rumor that there's a huge announcement, I believe this was put out as misinformation through Kensington Palace. I believe their press strategy is put out a bunch of fake new rumors and then the real theories will get drowned out in there. They're idiots because here's the thing, and I will always say this, this type of bullets creek of misinformation only works when you're not hiding something. It only works when you're telling the truth. That would be like me going to every blog over there. Tisa tells us half dog. She's half dog. She's half Siberian Husky. You can only put out, oh, I heard she's half cat. I heard she's half golden doodle. You can only put out misinformation to create a PR blitzkrieg so that nothing will be believed. Because they'll be like, girl, there's always rumors about Tisa Tells. Like, come on, let it go. But that only is 
when you're holding on to the truth, the truth being I am 100% human woman. Yes, I know it's hard to believe, but I am, right? When you are lying, when you literally are involved in a cover-up, you can't do that blitz streak because people smell the truth no matter what. Now get this. They said, when we heard the rumor that a big announcement was impending, we were terrified in tears. To then hear a few hours later that the royal couple had been spotted relaxing was like a kick in the teeth. We felt foolish. We feel royally, uh, but and we're still not convinced. In fact, we feel royally shafted. If the royal family is all about respect, about doing the right thing, I, for one, feel completely disrespected. Have you spent all these days worrying about Kate being sick for nothing? Again, William and Kate are too stupid to realize that not only did you ruin your credibility, but it's also open season from the tabloids. You've literally given the okay for tabloids to snap you. Foreign outlets. What are you going to say if another place snaps you? Oh, we didn't give you permission? Again, William is too dumb to realize they've let the genie out the bag, but it makes you wonder, and this goes back to where the Kate, where is Kate? Why are you willing to let the genie out the bag or out the bottle and worry about it later if you can put it back in? It's because you are hiding something so desperate. They all, she also said that the Kate speculation, maybe, she said, I'm tired of commenters saying that all the speculation is bullying, bullying or mere time wasting. One Sunday paper tried to dismiss the online concern for Kate as purient, a cruel theater, both degrading and infantizing. Really? This is what she's writing. I agree with Earl Spencer when he said that the attention focused on the sister Diana was far more dangerous than in the current online scrutiny of Kate. Why? Because as much as they keep the royals, the Kensington Palace keeps moving the ball about how dare you want her medical records. Nobody wants Kate medical records. What we do want is to actually see that Kate is okay. A real official video of her talking to the camera and officially sanctioned through Kensington Palace, not these little side things, right? She said, let me just repeat this. The attention focused on Diana was far more dangerous than the current online scrutiny of Kate. The fact is that we play detective because we care. So stop, this is a royalist. So stop trying to downplay the Dr. Mother's Day photos and even the videos. A source close to the Wells have been, has been quoted as saying that Kate's not a show pony, but in the nicest possible way, that's exactly what Kate is. 99.9% .9 of us will never, ever know Kate through the lens of a camera. We'll only know, ever know Kate through the lens of a camera. Sorry. The late queen once said that the monarchy must be seen to be believed. Now we don't believe what we're seeing. Let's also not forget that William wants to move the monarchy and you don't even see the monarchy. They just exist as rich, powerful people. I honestly do believe this. And let me just say this. I think that what happened with William and his mom, I actually don't believe that William ever gives two hoot ninnies about actually being king. I do believe that he wants the money for his children. He wants a private life for his children. He wants the same life that Harry and Meghan have for their children. And he wants the money. The only thing is Harry and Meghan are out there working. You might not agree what they do. I don't care what they do, but they're out there making their own money. William, the same can't be said. They go on to say, this is in the Daily Mail, baby, open season. If Kate wants to be amateur about her pictures, as she put it, then she's in the wrong job because Kate matters. She could be queen in a few short years. As <laughs> Rose Hanbury is sitting there being like, who's going to be queen? Anyway, we need her to be stable, happy, smiling in a world that is far, that is very far from that. And we need her ex to accept that a portrait of a film star or model in a magazine, possibly tweaked, is completely different to an eagerly awaited news photograph. Reputable picture agencies cannot be a party to any distortion in this age of artificial intelligence. Most newspaper reports and television bulletins are still patting us on the head as if we're children, acting as if everything is going to plan. 
Now get this. One phone, one stated that the palace phones are, have been ringing off the hook with good wishes from the public. I don't believe that for one second. Who rings a landline these days when they can post online? So now they're calling them out on even saying that the average person in the UK cares what Kate is. The solution to all the speculation and ridicule is simple. Don't ignore us, as the Prince of Wales did when he arrived for his Earthshop speech on Thursday evening when a reporter called out William House Catherine. There was no acknowledgement at all, which seemed clumsy given the furor. William, we understand you want to protect your family to have a private bubble, but Earthshot was a public moment. Why not smile and say she's doing fine? Well, I have the answer to that because she's not doing fine and he can't smell. Smile. Oh, and don't take four weeks off over Easter, leaving others to hold the fort. Kate has was, um, Kate, you must be seen smiling and waving for a few seconds in a royal engagement or on an officially royally sanctioned picture. King Charles is doing it, and that man has cancer. Violently, although he does look pasty, hiding away makes a mockery of all your mental health initiatives about how important it is to be open. The world is waiting with bated breath, yet no one can produce a photo or a video that a farm shop trip not even a blurry profile. You guys, this is open season. They are now dragging Will and Kate in the heartland. William has the son and he has TMZ and everybody else is going open season. And baby, isn't it crazy that the bed, the grave he thought that he was kicking Harry and Meghan into are, is now pulling him under. Baby, those demons from hell with the tabloids will not be satisfied. And if you, and here's the thing that William's so stupid, which one of his children is he going to offer up to the tabloids? I'm being serious because as they get older, they're going to try to want to create that whole William Harry situation. I don't think Kate and William thought this out. I don't think they thought anything out. But then again, is Kate even really thinking much? I don't know, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.